Hi, I'm Jay Crudy, the Engineering Manager here at Orion Fans, and I'm here today to talk to you about reversible flow DC fan technology. Traditionally, when you wanted to have reversible airflow, you had to take two traditional fans and combine them together in an opposed configuration, and depending on which one you activated would control the flow of air. This had certain disadvantages, namely the increased mechanical space required for two fans, the additional cost of two fans, and the fact that the two fans introduce additional inefficiency and power consumption. Also, airflow is reduced by having one fan that's essentially passive during the reverse flow condition. What we've done is to take our existing DC fan line and introduce PWM control where the PWM duty cycle can control the direction of the fan rotor. PWM control is a fan technology that's been around a long time. With PWM control, a fixed frequency of a square wave signal is supplied to the fan and the duty cycle of the waveform is altered. Here for instance I have a PWM generator. Right now I have it set to a frequency of 27 kilohertz and we can see that on the oscilloscope. And we have a duty cycle of 50%. If I increase the duty cycle of the waveform, we can see on the oscilloscope how the amount of time the waveform is in a high condition versus a low condition is altered. PWM control has been around a long time, and it's a well-established method of speed control in fans. By using PWM control for our reversible flow fan technology, you're able to leverage existing hardware and software designs and introduce reversible flow technology with a minimum of modification and design alteration. Now, I'll demonstrate how our reversible flow technology works with a PWM source. For this demonstration, I'm gonna show you how our PWM fan control is used to control the direction of the fan operation. My PWM generator is set to 50% duty cycle right now. That means that at 50%, the fan will be stopped. And in fact, we give you a very generous range around 50% where the fan will cease operation. By altering the duty cycle of the waveform, in this case, I'm gonna go down below 50%. By lowering below 50%, we see the fan begin to spin up. We, all can, we also can see the PWM signal change on the oscilloscope. As I go lower in duty cycle, approaching 0%, the fan speed increases. Now we can see here, currently we're operating in the forward direction. So air is flowing towards the label of the fan. And we can see here, my duty cycle is at 1%, and that's also reflected on the oscilloscope. If I reverse direction, we'll see how the fan slows down as we approach 50%. At 50, the fan will completely cease operation. If we go above 50 now, we'll see the fan start to rotate in the reverse direction. Once we reach 100%, we can see on the oscilloscope, the signal is constantly at a high condition. And our air is now flowing in the reverse direction away from the label. So from this, you can see that simple PWM control signals can allow you to control the directionality of the fan. Reversible flow fan technology has many specialized applications, including outdoor use. For instance, when a fan is used in an outdoor application, oftentimes the intake can become clogged with bugs or other debris. Reversible flow fans allow you to reverse the airflow periodically to remove restrictions in the air intake of the application. Other applications include HVAC, where periodically you may need to ingest outside air into the air conditioning system to ensure compliance with various codes. Reversible flow of DC fan technology has many applications, and you as the designer are best equipped to determine when this technology can benefit your design. Visit orionfans.com to learn about the latest developments in reversible flow DC fan technology. And thanks for joining us today.